right, all right. Well, I've got my hands on an old snapper mower. It's pretty cool. I'll have to take a let you take a look at it here in a second. Uh, but this one is kind of simple. Uh, it just simply won't start. And if you ask me, I, I think it's just going to be a, a, a carb cleaning. Uh, everything, lo everything else looks good on it. Uh, but this one I'll show you. Well, let me show you what I got. Yeah, so this is an old snapper with a Honda engine on it. Um, what do they call this? The Ninja? Yeah, there it is. Ninja mulching system. Uh, pretty cool old mower. You can see it has that uh, that wheel drive on it. And it's controlled right here. You can see the belt to engage, disengage. This one here uh, moves the wheel back and forth to adjust your speed. Uh, then your throttle and choke over here. And this one, it looks like it's been sitting for a long time, doesn't it? But uh, these are pretty cool. Well, let's take a look and see if we can get this sucker started. So... Take a look. Uh, oh, that's pretty clean. Not bad. Let's see. Choke is on. And it's not engaged. Let's see if it'll even start. Make sure it's got gas. It's on. No leaks. All right, so I know I'd uh, already put gas in it, and it was bone dry when I looked at it. Uh, so everything's on. It's been sitting for a while, so the bowl should be filled by now. Let's get the choke on. Everything's on. It's almost out, but let's see if that'll do it. Alright, so I know it'll crank, but I had a feeling that was going to be the problem. You just got to clean the carburetor out. So you can see that's the first thing I did, uh, just a quick troubleshoot. I first tried to start it, uh, and I checked for the oil, checked the air cleaner, everything was good. Uh, had fresh gas in it, gave it time to for the bowl to fill, and then tried to start it. Didn't start, well I went and put some fluid, you know you can use uh, starting fluid, whatever you want. And... Uh, and you can tell us about start, so I know it's, it's a fuel problem, right? It's going through the carburetor, clean it out, it's probably going to start. Uh, if it wouldn't have started with, uh, you know, spraying fluid in there, um, then check your spark. Check your spark plug, check all that stuff, right? So it's just step-by-step -step process, really. But I know a lot of guys, it's, uh, it won't start and they go directly for the spark plug. Uh, that's not necessarily the way to go, you know. Let's take this off. We'll clean the carburetor off, and uh, then I'll probably use it to do my yard back here. Well, there we go. Let's turn the gas off. And uh, there we go. Set that aside. Alright, well, let's 
take this off, take the bowl off, and see what it looks like. All right, so not a whole lot of gas came out of it, so it must be uh, yeah, it must be clogged in there. Doesn't look bad at all, does it? But it's got to be this one in here, because the 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 bowl was full, and when I turned it over, if this wasn't clogged, your needle valve here, then fuel would have been coming out, right? But it was barely coming through. So let me uh. Might as well take it all off just to get it out of the way. But it looks pretty clean overall. Let's just take this out and clean it out. You can see the, the bowl was very clean. I took everything off. Took the center valves off of here. And this, this was the main culprit. Um, and it's usually this one here at the very tip. And... The emulsifier tube is usually pretty clean, uh, but this was clogged also, and so I don't know if you can see it now. See a little daylight through the little pinhole, and I use these uh, these little cleaners right here, and they work great. I use them for my carburetors, and I have another set inside that I use for my 3D printer nozzles also, but. Uh, that one is clean, and this one, yeah. That did it. Now I can see daylight through it. But yeah, these come in very handy. All right, well, let's uh, let's put this back together, and I'll bet that would do it. But while we're in here, might as well spray everything out. We'll put this back together, put it on the mower, and. Uh, See if it cranks right up. All right, I just moved the camera over and let's get the choke on. Is everything on? I never unhooked the spark plug. Uh, nope. All right. So you can see uh, that was a really, really easy fix. Uh, just from the way it was behaving, I could tell it was just those little needle valves uh, inside the carburetor. I knew it was a fuel problem. So when you're troubleshooting, come up with a tried and true method. And that's usually the first thing I do when I see something like that. I first see if, it'll, uh, if it will crank. Uh, if it doesn't crank, I try to spray some uh, starter fluid or carburetor cleaner or something in there. Uh, spray it directly down into the carburetor and then try to start it. If it tries to start, then you know it's a fuel problem, right? If it doesn't start still, then, then I'd look for uh, uh, no spark, a spark problem. Um, then of course, if, if, if you're getting gas and you're getting spark, then you're probably not getting compression. So, you know, there's a stage of events to go through, but this one 
yeah, this one was pretty easy. Just this is probably 75% of my business is cleaning carburetors, you know. Um, so learn how to do it, and it's really quick. And uh, but I guess that's it for this video. So as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and watch for my next video.